Hey everyone, so we got some more news in regards to Tears of the Kingdom, and I told you guys, we're making these Tears of the Kingdom videos every day. Some of it will be on news, some of it will be on theories, and other fun discussion pieces regarding this game, but one thing I wanted to mention is when we have actual news, regardless of how big or small the news is, and again, today's news is not some breaking gameplay detail or story elements, you know, the kind of stuff that we're looking forward to once Nintendo decides to blow out this game likely starting next February. I mean, hey, they could start it tomorrow if they want. I don't really care, but I'm guessing it'll be at the next Direct. That being said, we do have a couple tidbits of news today that are at least worth thinking about and do add further credence to how done the game is. As an example, the Tears of the Kingdom game has been rated by... Wait a second. Before we talk about that... I want to tell you about this video's sponsor. All right, setting that aside, let's just jump right in. So, yeah, the first bit of news we have is that it's been rated by the ESRB. In the past, it had been rated by Peggy and a Taiwanese board as well. Now it's rated by the ESRB. It's rated E10+, plus, which, again, isn't a shocking rating. I mean, we've seen some Zelda games get rated T14. Uh, this is being rated E10+. Plus. What's interesting about when you're rated by the ESRB is that it just means the game's content complete. That doesn't mean the game is done, that the polish is done, that all the cutscenes are finalized, but content-wise, start to finish, the ESRB basically knows what will be in the game, and that's why they based their rating to be E10+. Plus. Didn't get to the full teen rating, that might upset some people, but it's whatever. Also notably, one difference between this ESRB rating and the one for Breath of the Wild is it doesn't mention alcohol. If you recall, Breath of the Wild originally had a brief mention of alcohol in its ESRB rating due to the bar that existed in the Gerudo village, made obviously some references to adult beverages. That's not present here, which suggests that bar no longer exists or something happened to that Gerudo village. I, look, this is just speculation at this point, but for some reason there is no mention of it. I find it interesting and I want to know what happened. What happened to that location? And why is it no longer, I guess, serving adult beverages? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused. You know, it is something I'm very curious about. So that's a small little detail we now know that we didn't know about Tears of the Kingdom before, thanks to the ESRB rating. Also, this is something that I guess has existed for a little while, but hasn't gotten a ton of coverage because it's sort of a nothing burger, but it is technically new footage. Uh, some people have discovered some clips of footage for Tears of the Kingdom that are basically extended sections of the trailers. And these extended sections don't actually give us anything new, but it does technically represent footage that was cut from the trailers. Essentially, when Nintendo cut together their trailers, there were certain small sections that were a little bit longer that they cut short to cut to a different area. And a couple of these sections that we have from the first two major trailers, again, doesn't really tell you that much more. Link running a bit further. Uh, I guess you can argue you get a bit more of a zoom in on stuff that's happening in the background. But again, these clips are not something that I would consider to be major breaking news. There's no new information in them, but technically it's a couple extra seconds of footage that we didn't really have access to. How they were able to obtain this footage had to do with uh, website stuff, you know, digging through code and, and discovering that, hey, this clip is actually a little bit longer than the clip that's in the trailer. So that's basically how this stuff got discovered. No one's really found anything yet for the most recent trailer because obviously there could be some interesting details. We got a couple extra seconds, like what happens after it cuts away to the logo. I don't know. I don't know that a couple extra seconds is going to change much, but maybe it does. So there's some people that are still trying to do some sleuthing on this. Again, I don't think we're going to really uncover much more at this point. And these clips themselves are newsworthy, but not necessarily going to reveal that much new information. The ESRB rating actually gave us much more on Tears of the Kingdom here by noting a notable location might no longer be 
in the game. That is something that's worth noting. This is more so, this is kind of neat, and that's really where that ends. Obviously, we're going to keep you up to date with all the latest on Tears of the Kingdom right here at the channel, whether it's news, whether it's theories, whether it's just some discussion stuff. I have a lot of stuff planned, videos galore coming on Tears of the Kingdom. So you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now if you want all of the best Tears of the Kingdom coverage heading into the launch of the game next year. Also, we cover a bunch of other Nintendo news stuff as well, plus podcasts and everything in between. You guys are amazing and awesome. I want to thank you so much for being here, and I'll catch you guys in that next video.